Hi everyone, guess what? I got the car rented, not with the credit card, but with my debit card. And now I will explain to you step by step how I did it. So what are you waiting for? Let's get the car and let's discover what they gave me. Let's go. Perfect. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just one signature. All right, guys, we are at the first floor in order to pick up the car with gold car. Yep. First floor to pick it up, ground floor to drop off. Let's go, guys. Let's get this. Where is this? Can I pass? All right, guys, here it is, the car. I pick it up, a wonderful Fiat 500. It's Cabrio. It's wonderful, gorgeous and amazing, as you can see. An Italian car for an Italian girl. And, oh my goodness, it's wonderful. Let's go, guys. Hola. Basically, it's so strange because comparing the others, only half of the back it's opening as you can see because it's cabrio Woo! okay fast and furious and it's really really nice also the space on the back i think it's a little bit smaller comparing the normal ones the common ones but it's fine because you know what i have my bag and I don't need anything else anymore. That's great. So let's see inside how it is. It's really nice. Can you just see it? Woo! It's so spaceful. Not that much, but um, yeah, enough for four people, I think. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. I'm super happy fully covered and I'm super ready to go with this one oh my goodness we will do many kilometers and it's really really nice because I will pair my playlist and wow I will dance all the time okay it's really new it's super clean Let's check it out. Also, what about the fuel? Let's see, let's see everything. All right. I'm super excited. Okay. That's real, it's really good. It's really good. I think, yeah, it's, it has a full tank, as you can see. And uh, the temperature outside, it's like 21 degrees in October, guys. It's lovely. It's literally summertime. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm super happy, super satisfied as well. Can you just see on the back side as well? Wow. Yep. But let's discover how to open the cabrio. Let's go, guys. Just push over here. Oh, okay, 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 dude. Okay, and it's Cabrio. You can see now the panorama from above as well. Wow. Portugal, here we are. Let's start this trip. Let's go. Oh my goodness, what I'm planning actually, it's um, to go basically in Spain, Sevilla, North Portugal, South Portugal, Central Portugal, so it will be like, Portugal it's very small, you know, uh, from Lisbon to Porto basically are like three hours, from Lisbon to Algarve it's uh, other three hours, and then, yeah, Sevilla is just right there. So it's great. All right, guys, let's start our trip. But first, wait 
okay a minute let's talk about prices so for the first three days that i was renting this car i basically paid 277 euros as you saw earlier and uh, then actually i did like an extra extension of two more days that i was paying way more or less unfortunately the first three days are the most expensive ones but what i have to say of course is that yeah it was costing a lot i'm not gonna lie but uh, no amount has been frozen from my card and this is so much important because usually whenever i was paying with my credit card more or less between 1000 to 1200 euros usually used to be frozen plus let's not forget that the first thing that i checked and then i was making sure about was to have all the full damages included so what does it mean whenever i will have a accident whenever the car will get bumped scratched or crashed or whatever will be fully 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 covered all right so it's included on the price and I do believe that this is super, super, super convenient, even though, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the price is expensive, but I do prefer to pay more, all right, in the first three days, because then on the fourth and fifth, I was paying like 40 euros per day, all right, still a lot, but way less than the first three days, and, um, you know, always fully covered and everything plus every time that i ended up any car rental or whatever i always have some extra charges on my credit card when i used to use the credit card and i don't know for anything because of course they know that the tourist is about to leave the country and everything every single time it was like yeah we charge you this because of that but all the things that they are not clarifying at the moment of the renting car all right so yeah definitely 100 percent hands down to the debit card or prepay card all right but let's continue with the video it's amazing guys wow Ah, it goes more, you see? We have all the panoramic view. I mean, how amazing is this? Can you just see it? I'm so speechless and amazed. I mean, it's wonderful. Wow. Wow. Let's see from above. better huh <laughs> all right guys i just basically add some options like the mini router with unlimited internet all right then the water because the weather is so so hot i really need it and then of course the cable for the iphone and as you can see, there is a GPS over here, which is included. I mean, it's not mine, it belongs to the car. But yeah, we are pretty good and pretty set up to just start our trip. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Oh my goodness, yeah. Let's go. Guess what, guys? I just discovered that this car is actually an hybrid. So it's half gasoline and half electric. Anyway, um, I really wanted to see if this is glass. Yes, it is. It's not plastic. Such a wonderful car. I love it. Guys, I mean, full tank, as you can see over here for it was supposed to be 56 50 euros but i just paid 48 somehow he made a discount of 7 euros and 77 cents 
so yeah 48 euros for a full tank i love you spain yeah that's great let's start all right guys as you can see also in spain they accept coins apple pay cards and notes as well so it's really really updated that's great guys this car is saving me so much because i ran out fuel and only because it's an hybrid i'm just keeping up with the electric motor so yeah I have to find out the next gasoline station because otherwise I will be in a very troubled situation guys actually I'm in the petrol station and comparing Spain those prices are terrible can you just see the full tank here in Portugal is costing me 75 euros comparing the 50 and something in Spain so a true nightmare like 20 25 euros plus okay let's jump over to the defects if I have to say something bad about this car is that of course this kind of car is for short trips not for the long ones for sure because whenever you are just like reaching the 150 kilometers more or less it cannot go more than that plus whenever you are just facing rainy days or heavy rainy days as i was facing it was not that uh, stable as a car all right especially in the highway but uh, yeah um, absolutely i can say that uh, it was a very good choice even though the cabrio i didn't open it up that much but um, yeah absolutely i do believe that it's a very nice car for a mini teeny tiny country like portugal so yeah i do recommend you guys fiat 500 fiat 500 <laughs> because i really think that even though it's manual uh absolutely it's worth it for the price that i paid i mean i do know that it's so much expensive but uh yeah we all know uh, why and everything i'll explain it to you already but um yeah for a couple car it's not for a family car for sure it's for a couple or a solo traveler so yeah i truly recommend you all right guys end of the weekend that was not even a weekend because i actually extended until almost a week but yeah end of the ride and everything time to give it back the car so sad somehow but yeah it was amazing that's it Opa! Thank you!